Hey, this is Father Robert Balliser from Gadget at thetechstop.net, where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here in the South Hall of CES 2009 at the Kodak booth. You may have noticed that behind me, where I'm holding on to, uh, well, a, a remarkable little camera. Now, you may have seen devices like this in the past, you know, the, the camera that can automatically upload to YouTube. And, and for the most part, they're interesting, but the quality has kind of, well, let's just say nicely sucked. Yeah, sucked. This is the ZI6. They released it last summer, and, um, well, it, it's phenomenal. It can go all the way up to HD 720p, 60 frames per second, uh, all the way down to still images at 3 mega, megapixels. I mean, it's a fantastic piece of hardware, but they released something new for the show. I'm here with Brennan. He's going to show us a, a new device that's the next iteration of the ZI6. That's right. This is the Kodak ZX1 pocket video camera. It also records in 720p, 60 frames a second, 30 frames a second, VGA, and does three megapixel stills. Excellent camera. This is a ruggedized, weather-resistant camera. It has HDMI. It comes with the cable. It has five different colors, and it's 150 bucks. So HDMI straight from the device. You don't have to put this into a notebook or into a, an external device. You can go just plug this into your TV and show a slideshow or your home movies. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, what format do these things record in? Dot .mov. So if you're a MacBook, it'll be native. If you're a PC, you load the QuickTime. And, and, of course, both of them will go straight up to YouTube. That's correct. And you also have ArcSoft software, which comes with a camera, so you can edit. Now, uh, looking at these two, I mean, essentially, th that's a ruggedized version of, of this, but I, it, there's also a size difference. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you changed in, in the, the spec between the two to, to make it smaller, to make it more ruggedized, and, and to give it that better feel. All right, well, a big change is a flip-out USB. This one's ruggedized because it has the rubberized sides on it, so it conceals the HDMI and also the AV and the DCN. So that's one reason why it's a lot smaller. It's 30% smaller. It takes double A's just like the ZI6 does, and it comes with a recharger and rechargeable batteries. Speaking of batteries, how long is this going to last? I know this takes two double A's. I'm not sure what that takes, but how long would it, would it go for on one charge? Hours. I've shot video here for the last two days, and I haven't had to recharge yet. That's fantastic. What, what about uh, storage? I mean, uh, 7, 720p at 60 frames a second is going to take up a big chunk of change, even if it's encoded MPEG-4 in, in .mov. So how much space would I be, how much time would I be able to get on one of these with, say, um, a 4 gigabyte SD card? About 90 minutes, but it will take up to a 32 gigabyte card, and you can do 10 hours worth of video with it. And that's only if you want 720p. What if you were to, say, uh, use the standard HD or the, the VGA mode? You would get more, more time. There you go. That's, that's pretty easy. Now, 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 one more question, and that would be price and availability. Where are they going to be able to find this? Where are they going to be able to find that? The ZA6 is already available. It's $180. The ZX1 is going to be available in April, and it's going to be $150 in five different colors. Fantastic. Now, if they want to find out more about these players online, where should they go? Go to Kodak.com. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great show, Brennan. Be sure to stay tuned. We're going to continue our CES 2009 coverage uh, shooting with the ZI6.